right? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, overall a really high-level match. I uh, got down a break in the second, but I felt like I was in all of his service games, so uh, I knew that it was one break away to being back in the match. Um, and then, I don't know, like I went up in the third, he picked up his level quite a bit, and I, I feel like we had flashes of like really probably the highest level tennis I've played. Cheryl Murray from the grandstand. I'm just wondering, um, do you take more confidence you get a big win like this over the number two seed? Does that really set you into the North American hard court swing better, or is it all the same to you? Yeah, I mean, I think um, any any win builds confidence. Like you, you hear of players going to, like dropping down a level, playing challengers to build confidence. I think any win adds confidence and builds it, but obviously the better players that you, you beat the bigger it is and the more it means. So, I mean, definitely, definitely nice to get a big win going into the whole series. Hi, Tommy. Uh, Simon from La Presse Canadienne. Congrats on the win. Uh, like it was said, the third win uh, this season against a uh, top five player. Uh, do you feel you're getting more and more comfortable against uh, these guys? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's hard not to wake up for you know, the primetime matches like that. Um, everyone, when I play high, like top level people, top five, top 10, I'm really excited, you know, like when I wake up in the morning, the alarm's not as bad as the normal 6.45 alarm, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, I was pumped and ready to go today. I was fired up. Uh, I knew that with him, like I would have to play a really high level of tennis, so. I mean, that's, I just tried to prepare for that. What was the turning point of the match? You had um, match points against you. So what was the, the turning point of the match? Uh, probably like uh, way before the match point against me. Um, I'd probably say around 4-1, like I was on my, I think maybe 4-1 or 4-2 in the second. I was on my coach's side. And he, he told me that I had dropped my level and like pick it up. And I just took like a second and realized like, yeah, like he, it wasn't that he picked up his level uh, to go up the break in the second. It was, I, I mean, I slowed down a little bit and he, he maintained, like that was the difference. So, I mean, I brought my level back up and made him really earn the second set. That was like my mindset, try and make him earn it. If he's gonna win this match, like, you know, make him really, really earn it. So I think that was probably the turning point. Um, hi, Tommy. Um, Carlos, Carlos told us just a few minutes ago that he hasn't been able to handle the pressure of being the number two seed in this tournament and during the game. Um, did you feel it dr during the match? No. I mean, that's not something that I'm thinking about when I'm playing. Uh, I'm not thinking about him thinking about being the number two seed. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'd imagine that that probably uh, – would add a little extra pressure, but I mean, I'd like to be the number two seed here one day, you know? <laughs> Any other questions? Come on up, Mr. Hogsdale. Uh, could you sense is this frustration, though, on the court uh, when you're st you were starting to, to get that comeback in the second set? Could you sense it? Um, yeah, I mean, I think no more than normal, I guess. Uh, anyone who's up a set in a break and then get broken back, like they're gonna be a little frustrated. So it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a huge, huge thing in, on my mind. But uh, I mean, I started picking up my level a bunch, and I mean that adds pressure to him when you're up a set in a break. You get into the tie break in the second, like you're thinking about it a little bit, no matter who you are. So I mean, I, I didn't really think too much of it.